Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna finish our performance task from Cherries and Cherry Pits. So you're gonna need your reading journal from yesterday, how we did our sequencing, our beginning, middle, and end. So go ahead and get your reading journal out. And let's look at what we did yesterday. Our beginning is Bedemi loves to draw with markers. Our middle, she draws a subway man, a grandma on the train, a boy and his sister and herself. And then at the end, she grows her cherry trees. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this information and we're gonna put it in a paragraph. And so it will show us the sequencing of our story and how all of these events kind of create meaning within the text, okay? So we'll turn to the next page. And today is September 1st. So now we're on month nine. And we'll write our title again, Cherries and Cherry Pits. Whoops, so sorry. Cherries and Cherry Pits. Okay, so remember when we start writing our paragraphs, we indent, we put our two fingers down, draw a line, and then that turns into our first word. So we will start off with our beginning. Bedemi loves to draw with markers. In cherries and cherry pits. The reason why these um, words are capitalized is because it's the name of the title. In all words, except for little words like in and and, all the major bigger words in titles are always capitalized because it's the name of the book. In Cherries and Cherry Pits, we meet, and her name is Bedemi, and it is capitalized because it is her name. We meet But Demi in the beginning period. She loves to draw with markers, period. One sentence, one thought, one period. So we have our word in the beginning. Then she draws a subway Pink line, so I go down to the next one, a subway man and a grandmother that you visualized, right? You made that movie in your mind, and a grandmother on a train, period. And again, I'm stopping and waiting for you to catch up. I write faster because I've been writing a lot longer than you have. And if it's still not caught up, you've always got that pause that you can hit, which is awesome. I could never pause my teacher when I was growing up in school. Just make sure you pause it when I'm smiling nice, not like a weird face like a, Ugh. All right, so then after that, after she draws the man and the grandmother, <clears throat> I'll use another transition word, because when you're sequencing, we like to put things in the order that it happens, remember? Next, she draws a boy and his sister.
And finally, at the end, she draws herself. She draws herself, period. So that was our middle of our, of our story. What is the end? At the end, well, let's talk about before at the end, what is something that all of these characters have that she draws? What is a character trait? How are they? How do they act? Kind of all the same. So this is talking about our character traits, how they act. They're all very what in the story. They're all very happy in the story, aren't they? And that sort of creates meaning within our text, how Bedemi is drawing from the beginning to the end, including herself, but Demi is a very happy girl because she is drawing all of her characters quite happy, which I think is fabulous. Finally, she draws herself. So we always try to want to include as much as we can when we do these performance tests. Something they all have in common is that they are happy, period. And something that we can infer from, and that's a fancy schmancy word, we'll learn about that soon. Inferring is, we are inferring that Bedemi is happy. We know that if we're happy, we're probably gonna draw happy characters. If we're sad, we might draw sad characters. But since she drew four or five different characters, I'm thinking she's a pretty happy girl. I kind of want to meet her, see what I would look like when she drew me. All right, at the end, we got to wrap it up with our ending, wrap up our story with a nice pretty ending bow. At the end, there's our transition word for our sequencing. <clears throat> Bedemi grows cherry trees. Okay. So we have taken our story and we've sequenced our events. We've used our transition words and we've actually done some inferring to bring deeper meaning to the text. Happy characters. We think our main character, Bedemi, is quite happy as well. So tomorrow, you'll get another great making meaning story. You will love it. And thanks for being such hard workers. Bye. My remote's not working. Okay.